Hello everyone, welcome back to the DOS TV. If not the first time when you see this channel, make you know our car pass, make you like and share and subscribe. As you do that, may God bless you. All my amazing returning subscribers, you all are welcome for your amazing support. May God bless every one of you. I got the video one that I want to drop. What do I think about this video? Put it in the comment section. Please like the video, share the video. If you never subscribe, subscribe and press the bell so that me they join the movie train as they move. As you do that, may God bless you. I see you guys on my next video. Uh, for me, Father Mbaka is an ordained priest of God. And as a priest, he remains my priest. And I will always respect and show my allegiance to the church. Mm. And whatever he says, I take it because he is my father. He's my father in faith. Mm. And I respect him any day. And he's my brother. We're very close. Mm. That's my own decision. And whenever he says something wrong, I provide. it. Mm. If he says something right, I provide. it. So mine is prayers. Mm. And as I, whatever he does, I love him. This is me because so he's a priest of God. So despite all of this, you love Adam Baka. I don't have any problem mm. with him. Whatever he says, I put it in prayers. Mm. If he says... I'm not going to be voted because I don't have money. Mm. My prayers is, may God see, make these people who are collecting money to vote, to see reason why they should not do so. Mm. That's prayers. Mm. In fact, if I had, if I had, uh, I traveled when he said that, if I was there, I would tell him, since you have seen this, pray for me to overcome it. Because actually, that's what I tell to every pastor. I meet pastors every day who tell me, Peter, this is going to happen. I said, since you've seen it, let's pray that it doesn't happen. That's one. Two, I don't want to make comments about other presidential candidates. Hmm. But they are making you know, about you a lot of No, no, no. For you. me, it's just social media buzz. You no, no, no. It, I'm not, I'm not in business of making, my business is to say, this is what I will do. Hmm. And then judge me from where I was heard before. Of all the people who are contesting today, mm. nobody, mm. I can say categorically, comes with my background. Mm. I'm a businessman, mm. a trader who started business small and built a business. I've been in the corporate world. Mm. I've been around. I've been governor. They have passed through the same trajectory. Mm. Let them show their record and say, We've trusted you with this. Refine the problem in Nigeria is management of our resources. Mm. These people have all been entrusted with the resource management. How did they manage it? Mm. So it's not for you to come and say, oh, you're a gentle man, you're a nice man, you're a kind man, and everything. But you were entrusted with public resource. What did you do with it? That's all. Tell us how you manage it. And then we can entrust you with more. Mm. Especially now we don't have anything. We need a manager of resources who can deal with these issues and be able to pull our country out of the brink. Mm. You don't go when you, you have a financial and economic crisis. You go and hire a musician mm. or hire a nice man. No. This is not time to hire people who are gentle uh, what is the problem of the country? You have millions of people who don't know where the next meal will come from. Mm. So it's not so time to say Peter B is a nice man, Peter B is charitable, he's a somebody who gives Yeah, you. they say you're stingy. That's another one they've been saying. No, no, no. Because there's... I'm bringing everything to the fore so you have address all this issue. They say you're stingy. You know, there's a talk about, uh, you know, they give shishi and did, did, did you read what uh, Bianca wrote? Yes. Go and read it. It's a true story. I've given away more money than all these who give away money. What I don't do is that I have a allergy for money being wrongly spent, mm. public or private. Mm. I don't spend money carelessly. I spend it for what it is used. And people can see it. it, it, it and it has nothing to do with anybody. It has to do with my own, even my family. Mm. Everybody knows. If you call my wife today, we'll tell you, Peter will not buy this. Peter will not do this. Peter will not do this. You know, I have a young man who traveled to Rwanda this morning. I was supposed to travel with him, but I had to cancel because of them. 
I had a, a travel this yes, when you travel today, and he said, said to me, Oga, I booked your hotel in so so and so so place. But they said it's a a thousand five hundred dollars a night. I said, No way. I'm only just paying to sleep. How can you do anything like that? Where are you staying? He told me he's staying in a hotel where he's paying three hundred dollars, uh, two hundred and fifty, three hundred dollars. I said, Is it not bad that they have this bed? I said, So am I going to? So why would I pay five times more for the same thing you're going to sleep? Is it not the same? And it's a good hotel. Mm. And so I don't. Money is meant to be used for something that is useful, mm. not for any other thing. Mm. You read Bianca casting how I got to America. We we're going for dinner. He asked me that he took me to a place. Nice is my wife of my boss, so I see her as my mother. So he took me to a shop as the mother would take his son. And when he got there, the wife of my leader. And when I got there, we saw a suit for three hundred thousand eight hundred dollars. And I thought I said, what for? It's just a suit. I'm not going to. Am I going to wear the price tag on it? Yeah. We could go to another place, bought one good one for less than two fifty dollars, and I went to the same place. And nobody said notice. Everybody still told me you have we got a good suit. But when I was leaving, he told me about somebody who didn't have problem. So I gave him the difference between the suit I bought and the one we saw, because that money was meant for that purpose. Okay. So that's what it is. Okay. I've been to. In the past, since I left government, I've been to over 200 secondary schools, hospitals, and everything. Sokoto, Nasarawa, Kogi, everywhere. Giving schools computer money. That's what it is meant for. Okay, okay. So, talking about schools, school is on strike. ASU is on strike. What would you do to end ASU strike permanently? I said it earlier. Hmm. It shouldn't be. Let me tell you, they have agreement with 2000, 2009 with government. I never renegated on any agreement. If you must ring, you negotiate it. If, if for example, federal government agreed 2009, that was the same time, that was the same time I, I, I had the same issue, and we negotiated. They came to me and said, this is the amount we need. In a state university. I said, no, I can't afford it. This is what I can pay. And we have been paying it gradually. Even the government of Nigeria have been paying that money. Maybe not in full, but gradually. We won't be there. But for you to sign an agreement, that's like what happens with our government. This is the only country government signs a contract with people and go away. I know a state we are a government yes my people we don't come to the end of this video thank you guys for watching please share the video don't forget to subscribe and press that bell see you guys for my next video bye bye